Welcome back to the channel guys and gals and another episode of things I didn't know about C Sharp. So last time we talked about the go to statement and again I'm not necessarily telling you to use these things. I'm just you know just trying to highlight some of the lesser known and fun and maybe awkward parts of the language. So I think it's fun. I hope you think it's fun too. So today we'll be talking about scoping and I couldn't come up with a good name for it so we're just calling it scoping shenanigans. Let's do it. Okay, so consider these three variables here. We have a equals 5, b equals 10, and c equals a plus b. So that should give us 15 down here. And the thing to note here is that as soon as the c variable has its value, a and b, is uh, those guys are basically just cluttering up our scope. So we just we only needed those to provide a value to C. So we could create a new scope here. So I'm adding two brackets here and just moving those guys inside of the brackets. And we, as we can see now, we can't access C now because it's declared inside of our new scope. So I'm going to basically add the definition above our new scope. And now we have accomplished what we set out to do. Now we have access to C here, but we no longer have access to A or B. So it's interesting to note, if you look at this code, it's easy to believe that you might be thinking that I mean, this, these brackets are somehow connected to the line above. But notice we have a semicolon here. So these brackets are just floating around inside of our method, basically. And we could create new scopes inside here if we wanted to int d equals a plus b let's say so that's something that's totally new to me i learned that just uh, a week ago so we could accomplish much the same thing with a delegate right so we could so do something like create a function that returns an int let's call it foo and we don't need to take any parameters and we can just basically return a plus b. So now we could do something like int c equals foo. And that will give us the same thing. Of course, now that we're using a delegate, we could, if we want to, use some parameters as well. We could you know, throw in some, um, some extra parameters that might be needed in foo to calculate the value. And uh, you might, you might know that uh, in c -sharp 7 we can actually do local functions. So we can do this a little, um, you know, a bit more readable. We could get rid of all the, um, the delegate stuff here and just say int foo. And there you go. So that's basically three ways of accomplishing the same thing. And uh, I didn't know about the first one. And uh, I hope some of you learned something new and I hope to see you again in a week when I'll go through something else that I didn't know about C Sharp. See you guys.